to show you how to put the bugle beads, which is our grass, which is like this ones here. We'll have to mix up some epoxy and once we mix it up, I'm just going to put a dollop of epoxy on my glass pebble here. Once it dries up, got a couple of bugle beads here, we'll just stick that on. So while we're waiting for another minute, I'll just show you this little bug here. So that's a little bug and I put little red rhinestones on him and I made this bushes out of copper wire and plastic beads and I have this little butterfly like this. Well I bought this at, uh, from an arts and craft shop and they came in a packet of 10 or something like that. So using a memory wires which I'm going to show you now I'm gonna make this little butterfly as well incorporated with our cute little frog here sitting on a mushroom. It's nearly there, it's almost drying up, but we still have time to, so what I've done is, so I'm talking about the butterfly now, okay, that's gone off, we'll turn that off. So I have a memory wire, which is the necklace part, and what I've done is just cut it in quarter. So I've cut it in half first, okay, which is a bunch, I'm gonna do something with that. I wanna do a series of butterflies, and I cut them in quarters like so that's the half one and then that's a quarter one so with the memory wire necklace what you're gonna do this is really tough so I just want to do a loop on the end of that and I'm just checking my glue yep it still will do and I'm just gonna form a loop like that so sort of a medium size you can make it bigger if you like and I'll flatten that and bend it. So what happens now when we glue that on it will just go sit there like that and I would really want it bending a little bit more towards there. So our little butterfly can go on the end. I've got a butterfly here. I'll show you how to prepare the butterfly as well. So memory wafers up, bend it up like that and because we have to drill a hole at the back of this butterfly or if you don't want to drill a hole because that one, I stuck it on, I drill a little hole and then bend the memory wire and insert it and put a glue. It just makes it more stable. But for those of you who doesn't have a drill, what I'm going to do now is just show you what you can do even without a drill. Just form a loop at the top. It's a fairly large loop. So flatten it. We're going to glue our butterfly here. Okay. So now I'm just going to bend my memory wire a little bit just to create a illusion of flight or something. You can still adjust it once your glue is on. Okay, so now I'm just going to put it down and see how that sits. If Mr. Butterfly will sit there. I keep calling them Mr. I don't know. We'll call this one Miss. Okay. So now I'll put it aside and the grass is drying up. Just going to do one there. And good thing I showed you how to do the butterfly because now my glue has gone really, really tacky. It's almost dry or epoxy. We'll put them all upright and if it falls to whichever direction, sometimes it's actually good because that sort of creates like a wind blown effect, like the wind is blowing on your grass. So see what I mean? That one's just falling down. I'm going to put that one back up. So I'm just going to bunch you all up and if you want to hide the glue there then you can just get a piece of rock, stick it there. Before our epoxy gets too dry, I'm going to take my little memory wire and put some epoxy on that. I'm just going to stick this at the back here, so like so and if that's too much again you can hide it with rocks and it's actually supporting my little grass and stops it from falling over. And so we can actually put quite a nice helping there. There you go. So we got a little froggy that's still not dry so okay but that's just a technique of the grass, the mushroom and the butterfly and of course the eyes and gluing them all up and so we'll put that aside now.
we take 13 inches of 24 gauge wire, bend it in half, and we'll put three beads. So turn it for five times. And we'll just separate that. And we'll put three more beads in. So one, two, three, four, five twists again. And then so now we'll continue doing that until we get So, so far I've got one, two, three, four, I'm going to do five. And so what I'll do is I'll just put them together like that and twist them. I'm just going to keep twisting it and that one too. Because what I want to do is create like a little bonsai effect like these tree roots here. So, so what I'm using here which is metal and it's quite heavy so so I think that's an ideal paperweight. I got it from the hardware store so I'm going to put my little tree here so I want it to go there so what I want to do is incorporate my rock band here so all those little little rocks there with eyes. I'm just going to put it at the front. So now I'm going to proceed to put some glue or epoxy just at the front here. And also we'll take our tree and stick it there and that's it there and we'll adjust it once it all dries up. So we'll put the big one here in the front. If you need to clean off excess epoxy you can also use methylated spirit. But we'll let this group dry up first. So that's what they look like so far and I'm gonna add a couple more rocks on the sides here. And so that's it. So my little rock concert. It's got a butterfly who came as well. So when you touch that, it actually moves. So, and I think they look quite adorable. So that's all folks for now. And on the next video. Mm -hmm.